how um, was the diagnosis actually made when you know it led up to somebody? Well, I went to a the woman called, who was a clinician at the doctors, and she told me there was nothing wrong to go home. That was the first point. I absolutely loathe the woman. I, ne I never went to her again. She told me to give it a couple of weeks. Well, the way she did it, I knew it was wrong. Anyway, I didn't even wait a couple of weeks. I gave it, I gave it a week and went back. It was niggling. It was a bit niggly. I thought, well, either it is or it isn't. So anyway, I went to another one. She um, said, well, we're not messing about. She rang up that day. I got a phone call that day to go straight to the hospital within a week. So I was very fast-tracked on that point, which is what the first clinician should have done, mm -hmm. instead of waiting. What happened in the hospital after you went to see them? <clears throat> um, well, I had a mammogram, I had an ultrasound. Um, no, I had an ultrasound first, then I had a mammogram, then I went back for another ultrasound, and then they said, we're not worried about your breast, the mammogram didn't show anything untoward, um, but on the ultrasound there was enlarged lymph nodes under the arm, so they did a biopsy there and then, and that was on the same day. And then I had to go back the following week for the results. How do you feel that process was handled when you came for the results? Um, they were very good. I had my friend Paula with me at the time. She was the only person that knew. I thought, well, I'm not going to tell everyone in case it's nothing to worry about. There's no point getting everyone worried. But Paula's got a very weird sense of humour. So in the waiting room we were laughing, we were joking. It was probably inappropriate to some people, but it was our way of coping. So, um, yeah, that wasn't too bad, thankfully, for having Paula there. Mm. So I think it can be important to take somebody with you if Even possible. just one person, yeah, someone that you trust that knows, you know, won't tell anyone. And not everyone's able to do that. No, I mean, not about, everyone. About I mean, some people, don't, some people don't like to... I mean, my friend Maureen doesn't like anyone there with her at all. She likes to deal with it on her own, her own but it's each to her, you know, what you want. Yeah, I guess it's a personal choice, providing yeah. there is somebody who you can take if you want to take. Yeah. One thing we're trying to do here, which hasn't really got off the ground yet, is provide people with an advocate. If they don't have somebody who they can uh, personally take as a friend or yeah, family member. Yeah, a bit like a befriending project. Yeah, that would be really good, that would. Yeah. So, it's uh, someone out of the family then, isn't it, as well? So what did they actually tell you about your diagnosis at that, at that moment? Um, they said that they found cancerous cells in the lymph nodes, so then they went delving for three biopsies in the lump, and then I had to wait another week. I'll tell you what, it's like waiting for eternity results. It's a long process, isn't it? It is. A, 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 week is a week is a very, very long time while waiting for results. Mm. I mean, the first week I just kept myself so busy, I didn't have time to keep my feet on the floor. When I was so tired by the end of the day, I just slept. Intentionally, you used that as a technique. Yeah, I did for the first people. week, but the second week, I, I couldn't do the same. It was just another week of worry. And um, unfortunately, some people have even longer waits for yeah. various reasons. I, I know my friend's waiting for months for a little boy to go through some different tests, but that, mm. that must be horrific. Mm. A week's, you know, ages, but months is even worse. Sometimes when you're given the diagnosis, people vary on how much information they actually want and clinicians struggle to know, should I give like as much information as possible or just the minimum information that's necessary? What's your view on that? I'd like to know everything, mm. but that's just my opinion. Yeah. I like to know everything inside and out and upside down and topsy-turvy. Yeah. I do. And did you feel you got that information? Um. You know, it was such a long while ago, it's really hard to remember. And of course, you're under the, you know, you hear the word cancer and everything just switches off, doesn't it? Which is why you need someone there to take in the extra information. Mm. You do get given lots of booklets, but if you, if you want to read, that's great. If you don't like reading, then you're not going to look at that. But there is the internet, there are some good sites for that, which is where I went, I think. I did go on the internet. Are there any you can specifically recommend? Well, the NHS one and the Breast Cancer site are definitely two good ones. Yeah. And then we've got the Be Clear on Cancer. There's a few little things on there as mm -hmm. well that helps. The reason I ask is because sometimes people get into trouble when they find things they well, didn't want to Well, they tell you dead, don't they? You know, they do go from one extreme to the other. But yeah, the Breast Cancer and the NHS. And Matt Millen's quite good too. What about informal support that would be things like chat rooms or putting you in contact with other patients well the breast cancer does that mm. they do do that i've never done it myself i've done it via facebook and on the breast cancer i've made friends and then we've just got together and i've made a friend called sue who lives in nottingham we quite see each other quite a lot now oh you actually meet up as well yeah and yeah. you met met that friend through facebook facebook wow. yeah i mean that shows yeah. you how things are going these days yeah. doesn't it yeah 
because we also try to to kind of facilitate those links but it's not always possible no in I've fact, got a couple of other friends but they live in America and New York they, you know, they're quite away but they have offered me to go over so it might be something I take up on fantastic yeah right. Right. definitely